Today marks an important chapter for the Royal Australian Navy, with the Australian Government announcing the outcomes of the independent analysis of Navy's surface combatant fleet. This is the most consequential investment in our surface fleet in generations, and it follows the announcement of the most consequential changes to both our submarine fleet with a nuclear-powered submarine announcement and the fleet air arm with the expansion of an all MH60 Romeo force. Our surface fleet will be optimised to conduct diplomacy in our region to deter potential adversaries and, with enhanced lethality, defend our three ocean island trading nation. Australia's economy and security are derived from the maritime domain. An optimised surface combatant fleet enables us to ensure the continued benefits of freedom of access to the sea for all Australians in an increasingly uncertain future. The review outcomes mean an increase to the size, lethality and overall capability of our fleet. However, today is not just about the platforms we will build and acquire. Just like we do now, we will invest in our people and crewing models in order to operate the next generation of advanced equipment. Defence's recruiting challenges are well known, and while we are adopting innovative thinking about our approach to market, our approach to crewing must also change. Where we can, we will leverage advanced systems and autonomy in the maritime market to offset personnel shortfalls. We will adopt new approaches to projecting advanced naval power while sustaining the fleet and prioritising the well-being of our people. Navy's separation rate continues to improve and is just 8.2%. That's substantially lower than the long-term average of 9.5%. And our Navy is 1,300 people stronger than it was five years ago. But we've been directed to grow to 20,000. The outcomes of this review will be attractive to many Australians and we must all be ambassadors for this significant investment by government in our Navy and we must all continue to strive to grow our workforce. So, what's next? We have important work to do. It will demand energy and focus. We must challenge the status quo and streamline our processes to enable speed to capability. This requires our full attention and the complete span of our professional, technical and mastery skills. If you want meaningful employment, you've got it. Don't wait to be told what you need to do, get involved. Together, we will build a stronger, more capable Navy to advance the security and wellbeing of our nation. Full steam ahead.